to the president's tariffs in, on Mexico. Congressman Pete King just a few moments ago said this. If the president's going to do it, I think it has to really be thought out and to see what all the uh, collateral damage is going to be, you know, the unintended consequences, because obviously it will have more of an impact on Mexico than on us. But many American businesses, and that means many American workers, could be affected by this. Let's bring in White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. Sarah, good morning to you. Happy Friday. Good morning. All right. Um, so what we've heard so far, you heard Pete King there. I mean, he wants to know if the White House has really thought this through before making this announcement, talking about potential collateral damage, unintended consequences of a 5% tariff on, on imports from Mexico. What more can you add to what we are learning on this, Sarah, this morning? Not only have we thought this through, but we've been talking about it uh, since the president, not just on the campaign, but took office. Um, the president has been saying for months, if not years, that we have to do something to secure our border. We have to make sure that we're protecting the people of this country. And the president is looking at all options to make sure he's doing exactly that. Uh, Congress has failed. And at the same time, Mexico has the ability to step up and do more. The president has been asking them for months to do that. And now he is putting uh, some measures in place that hopefully will get them to engage more so that they will start to help us in this process. We can't continue down the path that we're on. We can't continue to operate as a sovereign country with no borders and without enforcement uh, of our law. And Mexico needs to enforce their southern border as well. And we're hopeful that they'll step up and help uh, fix this problem because right, they can easily do that. Some of the <clears throat> critics of this and, and, and we, we've been, you know, calls are out there to look for who would actually uh, support the president in this move. Chuck Grassley, the Republican from Iowa, uh, Senate Finance Committee chairman speaking out about this announcement, Sarah, saying trade policy and border security issues are separate. This is a misuse of presidential tariff authority and counter to congressional intent. Is the president going to get support for this? Uh, look, certainly I have a lot of respect for Chairman Grassley, and uh, we work with him on a lot of things. But at the same time, uh, the president's number one responsibility is to protect Americans, and that's exactly what he's doing. Uh, this is fully supported by the law and under the authorities of the president through the IEPA provision. There's case law that supports the action taken by the president. And frankly, if other people were stepping up and doing more, the president wouldn't have to continue to look for ways uh, to stop this problem on his own. We'd love for Congress to engage, and we would love for Mexico to step up. Look, let's, let's not forget that when people come across the southern border of Mexico, it takes them, on average, 21 days to get to our southern border. That gives them three weeks mm -hmm. to apprehend these individuals. Mexico has some of the strongest immigration laws. They actually have the ability to repatriate so these individuals the and Mexico. send them back to their own country. Got it. So the point is to put the pressure on Mexico. Mexico Mexico has responded. The president there, um, we're told, has sent a, a letter back to President Trump uh, in the face of this announcement uh, and calling into question uh, the America first policy of the president, calling it a fallacy, Sarah. Uh, just now he's saying we are not going to respond to any provocations. The Mexican president saying any uh, disputes must be resolved by dialogue. It's our understanding that he is sending the foreign minister to Washington. Is there any plans to meet with the president today? Uh, I'm not aware of any plans at this time, but certainly we want to work with the Mexican government. We've been clear about that from the beginning. We've been talking to them for months, asking them for months to step up and take on a greater role and a greater responsibility of the number. Wednesday alone, we had over a thousand people move as one, one large group. It's the largest group we've encountered come through the Mexican country up to our border and try to cross uh, all at one time. A thousand people. The fact that they didn't break that up, they didn't try to return those individuals back mm. to their home country is what we're asking them to do. They have the capability. It's within their law to do that. Their immigration laws allow for this, and we want to see that happen. Uh, At the same time, we have a good relationship with Mexico. Let's not forget they're a great trading partner. We want to continue that. But at the same time, because they are a good friend, they should be willing to help us uh, fix this problem that they can so easily do. Obviously, these are um, some big numbers, though. Throw it up on the screen. This is what uh, the White 
White House detailed in that announcement last night that it would start out at a 5% tariff June 10th, but then it would incrementally go up August, October 1st if nothing's done. If Mexico hasn't acted, the White House is proposing a 25% increase there. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Markets don't like it this morning. Dow's down 265 points. Uh, obviously, the trade war with China, uh, the rhetoric there heating up as well. Got to move on to Bill Barr because we just heard him finally respond to Robert Mueller's public statement this week, uh, saying that they sparred over legal analysis, a legal analysis in that Russia report. Sarah, um, uh, he said that they could have reached a decision on obstruction, said Bill Barr, but he did not. What did the president think about what this exchange? First, Robert Mueller, and now we're hearing from Bill Barr. Uh, look, the president has a great deal of confidence in his attorney general, um, and he's done a fantastic job of laying out all of the parameters of what's taken place uh, with the Mueller report, making that public. Um, and like we've said before, uh, this to us is total exoneration and a case closed. We saw Robert Mueller this week. He is closing up his shop. He's completed his investigation, and he's moving on. And we think that the rest of the country should, too. Democrats have got to stop obsessing over something that never happened and start engaging with the president to fix some of the real problems that are happening right in front of their face like the problem at the border. If Democrats would quit wasting so much of their time attacking this president, the president wouldn't have to engage Mexico in the same way because Congress would be doing its job. At some point, they have to get serious about solving real problems, and so far they continue to be unwilling to do that. Finally, a, a final question on, on impeachment. Obviously, we're hearing a lot of this on the left. Nancy Pelosi went on Jimmy Kimmel last night, and she finished by saying she thinks that the president wants them to impeach him. How does the president respond to that? The president's addressed this. He said, look, nobody wants to be impeached, but particularly when they have no reason to be impeached, like this president. He spent two and a half years making our country better and fixing and cleaning up the messes of his predecessor. If anything, uh, Democrats, once again, should be working with this president, not fighting him every step of the way. You would think they would want to be part of some of these great successes that we've had instead of running away from them. The idea that they would impeach this president mm -hmm. over something uh, that didn't happen is truly ludicrous, and it's really a disservice to the country. All right, Sarah Sanders, we really appreciate you coming on this morning. Thank you. You bet. Thank you so All much. Right.